Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffin chestnut here on YouTube. And today's book that Richard will be reviewing for us is titled How to Make Knives by Richard W. Barney and Robert W. Loveless. The cover photo is of course by Weyer of Toledo. This is an official piece of Richard's collection. It's 100% Richard's piece. We're going to talk about everything, we're going to get into it, and we'll, we'll find out what Richard thinks of this piece. Uh, Richard obtained this piece um, during the meat showers in upstate New York in 2014, and uh, he obtained it because he was interested in the topic. So uh, Richard felt the need to uh, understand more about what is going on uh, in the knife world. Um, there does exist a formality in different cultures where one finds a urgency to subsidize certain hardened copies of themselves. And that's exactly what Richard did here. Uh, he understood the fact that um, these weaknesses range from uh, breaking bones to uh, formidable opinions to specific spots on the earth. And these specific spots are of course uh, travelers who do um, therapeutic standings where the distance is simply uh, a rolling back and they uh, have an idea of where these people come by. So. There's a beautiful notion to either the will of their master or simply take out the foreigner of these philosophies. And it's very specific to the idea that the principle is whenever something is back, wherever something is forward. And interacting with Richard, he understands this. Richard lives in the upper northern North America region in upstate New York and does a lot of outdoor activities, including hiking, camping, um, outdoor natural survivalists. And that's why Richard needs to read this. This piece is, it's dear to Richard, and it's Richard's personal piece. We're going to get into it, uh, the whole thing, from cover to cover, uh, north to south, nipple to nipple, everything about it, and we're going to find the most notable um, parts about it and how uh, he attributed to uh, such a person as Richard uh, claims himself. Okay, now the condition is pretty good here. You can see it is a soft cover, so it does have a wave. It waves a lot, but the condition is very good, as you can see. Very good condition. All inside. The, uh, the trim side and the brim and the cream all in very good condition it's a big piece too so we have how to make knives Richard W. Barney Robert W. Loveless okay Keep that loveless in mind. We're going to need it later on as we uh, formulate exactly what entails everything in this piece and how it, it devils in. Okay, the back, of course, uh, brings its uh, imperative nature to the course. Okay, sources of services and a generic barcode. This is the left wing barcode. Okay, you can tell this by the subsidized left and right region. Okay, this is from a pivoting standpoint. So it pivots to the right and then it delves in. It delves out and it delves fresh. Okay, just as that and just as this. Okay, let's take a look at the piece itself. Okay, this is a uh, formation of a glorification piece. Alright, 
This is Richard's official memoir. Uh, he hopes that um, everything that the uh, viewer can read is uh, substantial in the basic primal additive. A beautiful piece. Okay, this is how it's made and the importance of knife making. Um, as you can see here, the, the push stick will save fingers. We're trying to save fingers. These fingers that you see here, they're real fingers, not fake fingers. We're trying to save as many fingers as possible. And this piece um, shows it in a beautiful way. Um, not only a beautiful way, but uh, the way that the government mandates you uh, to own knives and um, anything under the sun in uh, North America. Of course, in the United States, it's protocol that was discovered, of course, by Vladimir Putin in the uh, Preskupiskan uh, deposition in reference to the USSR region, which uh, Gorbachev uh, developed uh, Pesca region, which is a communist deal, basically stating that man who owns property cannot be delved into a substantial property. And those two rules are the perestroke deception, in which the Antoli Galipson, who was a defector of the Soviet Union, in a subversion in order to get the world looking away from the socialist identities, began implanting into other countries, hoping that there would be a political uprising in uh, behind the scenes movements, such as essentially the idea that communism uh, is still on the rise, and not only just a careful way of the Cold War presentation uh, is a philosophy very commonly seen in the modern world as how people are anti-critical about things that happen around them, such as the news, news world reeled, and events. Uh, this is what Richard really focuses on, and Richard does most of his writing based on this, and you can find all this in the link in the description. So Richard does a lot of uh, counter work, um, where he, he purposely injects things into uh, substantial cultures. So, that's it for Richard Reviews. Um, here on richardreviews.com, you can check this entire piece out on his blog, anything in the matter, um, and you'll be able to fundamentally make an opinion on this piece on your own. It's estimated that Richard uh, approves this piece. Um, he has not given a public fi figure up, but this piece remains in his collection due to the complex and variety, uh, where it's one-tenth the uh, contamination that uh, is uh, an appropriate overview of his actual pieces in his library. So thank you for that, and uh, thank you, Richard, for everything you've done. We appreciate your comments, and we appreciate you, Richard. So thank you, Richard, and this has been an exclusive Richard review on How to Make Knives by Richard W. Barney and Robert W. Loveless.